On this episode of Trying Not to Sink, we finish the core repair and get ready to install the windlass. I find a new use for wine bottles, and we take a quick trip to the hospital to get vaccinated in preparation for the Bahamas. My name is Ed. I'm an ex-musician, turned politician, turned accountant, who now imagines himself a sea captain. This is Lynn. She's an ex-model, retired photographer, and the love of my life. Three years ago, we bought a boat. No experience and completely clueless. Since then, we have traveled over 10,000 miles along the Atlantic coast and the Bahamas. Join us as we continue the adventure, exploring exciting places, meeting new people, and having the time of our lives while trying not to sink. up some resin, some fairly thick of resin. I'm going to put it in any little gap that I can find. We pretty much it oozed out just about everywhere, but there's some spots that I can I can fit some resin into. I'm going to coat this, then I'm going to coat the skin and put the skin back up onto it and clamp it. I hear some people say that using this CUSA support, you almost can just coat this in resin and be done because it acts like its own skin, but I'm going to put it on anyway. It can't hurt. Okay, bright and early, let's see some of that boat yoga. Come on, one, two, you can do it. One, two, three, boat yoga. You gotta lift that leg. Yeah, that's good. You're working it good, baby. Woohoo! You got it? Okay, I'm going to get it in place, and then I'm going to have you hand me the clamp, so I'm going to clamp it up, and then I'm going to go around the edges of it with the rest of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
on this side here. Okay, the, the liquid's on the outside. Woo, you got Okay, here's that. I had to change the head on it. Here's the screws, there's four. I wonder if this one's a pretty blue like the other one. This time I have glue on me. Okay. So. Stay away from me. Yike. Where are you going to take that off? Outside, I guess. On the dock? Yeah. Might as well just throw that out. Yeah, baby. Shake that butt. Work it, baby. Here, I'll give you a dollar. Whew. I'll throw this right into the trash can. Yep, throw it away. Well, I'm very pleased with the way that turned out. I think it's going to be solid as a rock, and I don't think anyone's going to need to touch that deck for 30, 40 years. We'll see. Well, I won't see because I won't be around. Anyway, I'm here at my land house, and I am patiently waiting for a freight truck to show up with the new windless gearbox, shaft, and motor. They should be here any minute, so hopefully. But in the meantime, I am going to start working on a spacer that I need to install the windless. Now, the windlass has a shaft ooh, about this long, and it's about three and a half inches too long for the hatteras. It means that the space between the lower part of the deck and the top part of the pulpit is about three and a half inches too long for the shaft. Now, hatteras, I guess, it was hatteras, or maybe it was an aftermarket, I don't know, uh, when they put the windlass on, they used this as a spacer. It's basically wood layered and they painted it and it went up and what happens is the carriage bolts come through the pulpit through the deck come through here and onto the mounting plate for the gearbox now i need to replace this this was rotted it came apart in pieces and i need to replace it with something that will last so i'm going to do it with the kusa board and let me get started on that
Well, I have the spacers made. What I've done is I've cut the CUSA board into these pie-shaped wedges. I need about three and a half inches. So I have two pieces of one inch CUSA and a half inch of plywood sandwiched between them. And they were gonna go around the mounting plate like this. So the bolts will go in between the pies, or once I have the, the uh, gearbox mounted, I will slip these wedges in between the bolts and then I'll tighten it up. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some resin and laminate these together. They don't really need to be, but I think it'll just be easier than me trying to slip in piece after piece. I think if I, if I connect them all together, I think it'll be better. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. The other issue is I believe, well here, let me show you that piece again. Oh, here. Now if you look closely at this piece, you'll see they had little wedges in here that I guess they, they hammered in. Now I can only assume that's because the uh, the bow pulpit and the lower deck are not exactly parallel. So I believe they have to shim it a little bit to make sure that the top plate is parallel with the mounting plate for the gearbox. So what I've done is I've just cut a bunch of various size wedges out of CUSA board. I'm not sure what I'm going to need yet, so I just cut a whole bunch of them and I figure different sizes. I hopefully one of these or all, some of these will work where I need them. Hey, maybe that's the freight company. Okay, well, it looks like I mixed up a little bit more than I needed. I think I'll maybe use it to coat the sides a little bit. Yep. Oh boy. I'm actually looking forward to it. Oh boy. Let's go. Looking forward to being able to do normal things again. Like bars and restaurants. And traveling on our boat. Yes. And crowded marinas. Roger out. Boy, well, here it gets sore. It's like the flu shot. Well, I'll do the left end. How's that? It's not going to hurt me, so it doesn't matter to me where. Okay. So you guys are returning on April 6th. Okay. Same time you're scheduled today. These are your appointment cards. You need them in order to get your second shot, so do not lose your cards. Okay. Ed, you haven't had any vaccines in the past 14 days? No flu, no pneumonia, no shingles, nothing like that? No. Okay, so as soon as you get this, you're going to go around the corner and sit for 15 minutes. Okay? Mm -hmm. I need you to check off right there that you attest to what you just provided was true and accurate. Does it hurt? You have a seat and I need it right up, I need it up high. So, so either you're going to have to go down like this or... Yeah, I'll have to do that then. Yep. <laughs> One, two, three. All done. This was... Does it hurt? Just a little bit. It's like a stick. It's like a flu shot. And Debbie, you haven't had anything either, right? In the no. past. And here's your card. You can return with that. All right. Thinking. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Thank you. 
And here's stickers for you guys. Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you, cool. Thank you very much. Hi, honey. How are you? Fine, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. good.